Uh, my name's Bob Burgos, um, session musician, rhythm and blues, rock and roll for many years. Um, love it, live it, and uh, till my dying day I will be playing it. Um, rock and roll shall live all over throughout Europe. And uh, as I said, vive la France, I'm going to have another drink. I want to get to a bit bizofen tonight, bizofen. As I said before, I am a session musician, I've played with many artists. Um, too many to mention, I think. Um, but to give a few people, uh, Screaming Lord Such, Freddie Fingers Lee, who I'm playing with tonight here, Shotgun, a band I've been playing with, one of my, well, my own band, who I've been uh, with for many years, since 1979. Um, Matchbox, of course. Uh, Wild Angels. Back many an artist, you know, Gene Summers, Chuck Berry, Charlie Feathers, Hayden Thompson. Uh, too many to mention, really too many to mention, but um, it goes on and on. But all the artists I back are authentic rock and roll players. Yeah, see, now look at that, oh. this is tattooed. Now, people may say, can you see that? See the fillings as well? They cost a lot of money there, do you see? <laughs> the fillings as well. See? Now, people say to me, well, what's he on about all this tattoo? It's just one of those things, a wild character, I love it. Rock and roll. It's the way you live. One of my idols, as I've just told you on film, is Chuck Berry, Jimmy Reed. As you can see, Chuck Berry. Now, colour prejudice, whatever you may say, you've got to admire people who um, have a, a terrific influence in your life. Chuck Berry is the influence in my life. Yeah. Rhythm, rhythm, everything is involved. <coughs> Chuck Berry. And I'll be backing him soon. Uh, a two-week tour of Chuck Berry. I'm, I'm actually going to get Chuck to sign under me. You know, terrific. I did a tour with Chuck Berry. Uh, I was, um, after the show, he asked me to take his guitar, his 335, 553 guitar Gibson up into the dressing room so it would be safe for the next show. I took his guitar up in the lift, into the hotel room, and I went to sleep because it was late at night, and I had to get out of bed, I opened his guitar case, and there was this beautiful red Gibson. I, I had to sit and play it, it was just something else, I just had to play Chuck Berry's guitar, the, the real guitar, my hero's guitar killer. I mean, I, the man's a genius, the star of all time for me. And in his strings at the top was a plectrum. The plectrum uh, that he was using in front of 22,000 people, which I was a part of, playing the drums. And I was playing bits of rhythm guitar, which I do play rhythm guitar as well. And I thought, well, for a souvenir, I'll take his plectrum. No one's going to mind. I mean, I'm not, a, I'm not a thief, but anyone can take a thing like a plectrum. So, of course, I took this plectrum and I put it in my wallet, put the guitar back in the case, shut it up, went to sleep. Well, in the morning, I had such a bad conscience, I had to put this plectrum back because it wasn't mine and we were doing another show. So, out it came, I took it out of my wallet, put it back into the guitar case because I couldn't I forgive myself for stealing a plectrum. It sounds stupid, but that's the way it was. But today, a few years later, I wish I'd have taken it.
rock and roll to me is uh, excitement. It's uh, living. It's wild. It's um, it's reality. It's truth. It's sadness. It's everything you can imagine, and uh, that's the greatest music that uh, ever filled this hemisphere. It is rock and roll. It's got to be rock and roll, and always will be. Uh, it's just something marvellous. I can't explain it. You ask all the bands today, and they say the same thing. It's a magic, a certain magic. Tonight's the night, now is the time. I will play rock and roll, so long as a good man up there allows me to. So uh, keep rocking, everybody, in France especially, and uh, viva la France, and uh, you know, keep rocking. Good on you, good on you. <laughs> 